Hi. 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 This is Mike Moffat. He's a madman. Nah, it's a bullshit. Yeah. So, Mike, can you... Um, this isn't about product stuff. This is more we're talking about interesting things with interesting people. And, and somehow you made the cut. And so the question is, why are you so interested in the 443, 432 stuff? It's a complicated story. It's difficult to put more than uh, in one or two sentences that, yeah. you know, that won't dominate your time. Um, but the first listen is free. Yeah. Uh, okay. I, 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 I'm Did you not try it? I haven't tried it yet, but I'm not surprised that you came up with an answer that that it um, that you hear, and there's there's no other way to describe it. Do, you know, have you thought much about have you, have you thought much about um, uh, even tempered tuning and the old school tunings and things like that? And yes. Do you have commentary about? Do you have some? Not comment? yet. Not yet. Maybe there'll be a later gadget. Maybe there'll be a more expensive gadget. A more expensive gadget? Yeah. To, to put it in real harmonic series tempering. Yes. That because that would be, yes. to me is fat is a fascinating idea. Oh it's it's yeah, the problem is what you need to implement it because it requires a lot of processing oh, power. Yeah. And it's not gonna fit in a little box. No. But just the C two fifty six is amazing. And I don't know whether to call it a skin gasm. I don't know whether to call it that there's just something right about it. Yeah. Um, but you tune it down to 256 and listen a while and tune it back up to A440. Yeah. It sounds broken. Yeah. You want to grit your teeth. So, so what we're talking about here is the fact that music used to be made on organic instruments in such a way that um, uh, flutes and um, harps, I suppose. Um, I don't know really, harmonicas, um, but instruments that have a native tuning where you can tune it uh, um, to the real harmonic series. A piano, because it has to play in many keys, it is not really tuned exactly to the way the harmonic series of a tone would would cause it to to have fifths and octaves and thirds that are really the right frequencies. And you're taking a step in that direction. And I'm, I'm just fascinated by the idea. When I was much younger, before I broke my hand, I used to play in a bluegrass band, which is, of course, three-part harmonies. Yeah. Okay. Um, and, uh, you know, gap tooth music. Yeah. And uh, uh, I was always fascinated by the pre-war instruments, mandolins, uh -huh. and banjo sounded better than the newer ones. Uh -huh. And uh, I sort of thought about it. I never could afford it. They were thousands and thousands. And then years later, I got curious about it. And uh, I uh, ended up finding all the papers of a luthier named Lloyd Lohr, who almost put Gibson out of business back in the 20s, because he tap-tuned every instrument to C-256, huh. which he in turn got from a certain Italian named Stradivarius. Yeah. So uh, I decided, well, why don't I take a turntable and bring it down to 256, yeah. which is what I did. You know, Dave and I built a little synchronous motor driver that lower it down yeah. and it was just like oh. huh. and he brought it back up and it was like Ew. yeah and uh, but the problem is it changed the tempo yeah yeah okay so gee how are we gonna do this in DSP so we had to find Ivana who's not here now um, but she's our super algorithm developer uh -huh. and uh, because most of the things that change pitch and don't change uh, tempo sound like ass. Right. So she made one that sounds doesn't sound it like sounds ass. Good. Yeah, yeah. Right. And then you got the box, and it's 190 bucks. You know, the, see, the, for me, and and um, Steve Guttenberg talked uh, talked to me a little bit about, about this. He said that um, the, the digital has ruined music, and. Um, uh, uh, in a certain way, and, and in some ways, I think I think modern society has ruined us humans. It's it, it's we've we've become less human, less organic, less who we actually are when we live in all this artificial world, and and even temper tuning and the t types of things like that are essentially technological movements forward forward. 
Um, but we may be missing something, you know. We may be missing the campfire, you know, and the barn dance and, and a whole bunch of things that we're missing out on. And, and it's interesting to see somebody try to go find something like that. Agreed. I mean, you look at modern music, you look at pop music, and it's a drum machine. Yeah. It's a keyboard. Yeah. And it's a singer that, you know, all the pop that were written by, you know, two of the same songwriters. Yeah. It's, it, it, there's a certain, I don't want to sound like a throwback, but it's like, yeah, it's, yeah. You know, the, there's a lot of wisdom. That, yeah, that, there's a lot of wisdom that we've obsolete. lost in the, pro, in the process. Yeah. It would be, it, it would be cool to see our technology serve our humanity better, and it's things like this that may be able to do that. You have no idea what we're talking about, do you? Well, you'll find out. I'm going to come back to your booth and, and, and do a real hard look at it and, and talk about the product itself, but I wanted to get inside your head a little bit about that. So You want a trip toy? There's none other like it. Yeah. Thanks a lot, Mike. I really okay. appreciate it. All right. That was Mike Moffat of Shit Audio. We'll see you guys in a bit. Thanks, Mike. All right.